Welcome aboard BioTrek as we sail the South Pacific and explore our ocean world. Please subscribe and ring the notification bell so you're the first to know when we post a new video. In our last episode, we sailed from the Gambia group of islands toward the Tuamotos, first stopping in Mekimo and then heading over to Fakarava. We entered the Southern Pass, where we spent some time snorkeling and just enjoying the area underwater and above. And then we made our way slowly to the northern part of the island, which is near the main village. This is also near the airport, and so we had family leave and more family coming. Only 17 hours of air time to get here. <laughs> we anchored just outside of town and away from the other boats, and just across from the Fakarava Dive Center. And so we decided to take a dive on the Northern Pass with the Fakarava Dive Center. It was fabulous. There's a lot of current in this pass, as you can see below the water with the fish and above the water with the waves. So this is a drift dive, so we just observe the fish as we go with the flow. And if you're not super excited to see some scenes from diving, skip ahead five minutes or use the chapters below to skip ahead. Sometimes we could just stop and hang on to a rock so we can enjoy the view. pointed out this colorful little nudibranch near where she was hanging onto a rock. And then it was time to let go of our holding place and go with the flow again to finish the dive. That large fish is a Napoleon wrasse. What a beautiful sight. They're not often seen unless in protected waters, such as the coral reefs of Fakarava, because these fish are also good for eating and they've been hunted.
There are lots of sharks on these past dives, but they just leave us alone and we can just look at them swimming by. We're still drifting with the current as we do our safety stop. One of the divers in the group ran out of air before the end of the dive and had to buddy brief with the dive guide. We then headed to town to have dinner at a local restaurant. about and they said it was about dancing under the stars. Polynesian is such a beautiful language, especially in song. There's some, they're very close. When we got back to the boat, Tiller was all excited about fish splashing near the boat. Oh, there's one right here. You can't see it. You just gotta enjoy it, Mom. You just gotta enjoy it. In Fakarava, there's another type of fish that's typically lurking under the boat. And those are remora, maybe because there are lots of sharks. But under boats, they get their preferred food just like they do from sharks. And that's near the outlet for the head. This is just behind the boat. We left Fakarava by the Northern Pass as we sailed to Tahiti, which is an overnight sail. We left the pass in late afternoon to time it for near slack tide and also to time arrival in Tahiti for the morning. There's a lot of current in these passes, so Pierre uses the technique of contouring, which is following the depth along the side where there are typically less waves than there are in the middle of the pass. My sister Krista on board, she picked up the camera and followed us as we reefed the main. Hey, what's going on? We're about to reef the main, but when it's on this side, it's hard to do. And we're going to reef it while we're going downwind, so it's a little technical. They're okay. trying to reef the main before okay. the sun sets, and it's on the starboard side, I guess. I'm not a sailor. Uh, and apparently that's the hard side to do it from. Okay, you happy with that? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Lisa's is pulling in the fishing rods. it would have been easier to reef the main if we had turned around and faced into the wind, but then we would have been going in the wrong direction. And why waste time doing that? Let's do something a little more challenging. Thank <laughs> you. 
more tension on it. Just flip the hook on the back end of the sail so that it would be hooking from below with a pull out straight down to the boom and uh, that worked extremely well. So it's like just by hand it came right on. And uh, the front hook, which is because we're blind when we do it, it's just more difficult. But uh, that works well too. And the last thing is that it'll ring we put on the uh, topping lift to hold the bottom of the sail from falling on the roof that also works perfectly so apart from the fact that we need more practice with our new rig now it's perfect <laughs> At the end of the day the reef is put in up top oh. up top <laughs> so what are you doing now now we are prepping in case the wind comes up more we can roll the Jenniker, roll out the Genoa, and we can keep, uh, keep our speed up. So we're just preparing before the nightfall. Alright. Right. Killer just had her dinner. Great! Here they're getting the Jenniker away before we come in to pull. Here they're 
putting it back in the bag before it's trying to get a snake in a bag. Think your rhythmics. Here comes the rain again. Here just got crushed. Have a rainbow and into the heat. So we just made it to our first marina since Panama. We've been at sea for a little over two and a half months. And we are opening. And we are <laughs> opening our first bottle of champagne since we went under the Bridge of Americas. Yes. And we're going to try to and do it. And since it's only 11 in the morning, we're going to have mimosa. Yes. Krista. 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 Yeah. Are you with in. us? I'm with you. Let's I'm go. Here. Cheers to Biotrek! Yay! You want a little loving? You want to do it? Yeah. Turn the like, turn the bottle, not the. Yeah, yeah. That way it doesn't fly all over. Yay. And Yay. Chiller's gonna get a little bit too. All right. All right. I'm like dripping with sweat. Right? It's so hot. Girl power. <laughs> I've been wearing the same clothes for like 36 hours. No, oh, that's normal. In that's boat a, life. that's that's uh, passage making. Yeah. I know. That's boat life. But the best showers are when you do, when if there's no wind and you throw a, boat, a rope overboard. <laughs> hey, Tanner. All right. Speaking of girl power, this was posted in a restaurant bathroom in Tahiti, and I thought it was pretty cute. In the next episode, we're going to visit Tahiti a little bit and sail to Moria. <laughs>